Okay. Let's go after Camille de Millimon. <laughs> I probably haven't pronounced that correctly at all. Dropped off some skins. And we're not even equipped for this. Well, that's just back tacker, isn't it? Yeah, let's say that. I remember seeing a cabin near here. Whoa. Come on. Do this cautiously. Oh, and another Charles mission came up as well, so... <coughs> Excuse me, we'll get to that at some point. This looks like a trap to me, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Seems a little too, uh... Maybe it's just me, but it just seems just a tad too well rehearsed. Holy crap! There's the other one. Lovely. Get your fifty rope off me, you peasant. Oh, shut up. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> nice. Excuse me, while I just go and loot your bodies. I have committed no crime. I fight for your country. Yeah, well, your poster says differently. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'll, I'll drop, I'll put him down where there's no weapons nearby, so he's not tempted. You're making a big mistake. No, you're making a mistake. By crossing us. Oh. Yeah, take the lockbox. Bill sack, nice. Very fruitful. We're gonna make about a hundred bucks out of this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, stop fidgeting. Go and see what goodies you have. Dynamite. Oh, you're playing an operation. Oh, whoa! Another lock box. <coughs> Definitely scaling the hundred, maybe more. Oh yes, <laughs> we're getting a hundred and fifty soon. I mean, all together. Ah, uh, miracle tonic. What is the? Where is the miracle tonics? Oh, it's this. Yeah. Yeah, for the sake of it. Now, oh, Kells, where are you? Well, I'll know where to find you. Tch. Go 
Go and loot his buds. <coughs> what the? I was in the ditch. I was like, where the hell did he go? Very nice. Oh no. Ah, oh, come on, Mr. The Millimon. It's probably Millimon. I'm just calling Millimon because it's got the French, perhaps even Southern Belgium. Uh, distinction. Why? Are we serious. Oh, re oh, re oh, you thought you can scurry off? Oh, that's it. I'll give you a good knock to the head on the way back. Stow him, please. Goodness sake. Let me just double check something. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. <clears throat> Wait. Alright, girl. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. <laughs> what are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. <laughs> You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, well, blame your parents for that, not me. The Milmont, I okay. I fight for you, for all of us, for our future. You don't fight for me. <laughs> In the future? Well, that won't be a concern of yours for much longer. Turning on each other. This is what they want. Don't you see that? Come on, don't be an errand boy for the gutless state. Worst mistake you can make is thinking you're better than the next man. <laughs> That's when you get sloppy and end up on the back of a horse heading straight for the. We got you. Holy crap! God, that took me. Aye. Wipe that smile off your face. Holy shit. That took me by completely by surprise. Will you shut up? You shut up. Exactly. Shut up. Exactly. That took me by completely good. I mean, I probably should have expected some his friends, but that legitly took me by surprise, especially in the middle of chatting. <laughs> oh, thank God, I got decent dead eye skill. I'm not saying good, I'm saying decent. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not bragging too much. <clears throat> but I do always. Headshots always work the best. And that's why I'm doing the safest thing. Headshots. Means I'll not get up. Not unless they're reanimated corpse, but that's a totally different story. That's just this is a serious beard we're rocking here. I'll wait a while then I'll shave it off. You know. Be awesome to do rock this beard during the, some sort of I don't know major robbery or bank heist or something like that, you know, I think that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, did you want to talk, talk in Camille? No? Okay, fine. I suppose we could kind of cut through the countryside a bit, I suppose. Yeah, why the hell not? 
You shut up there, Kamel. Do you need me to slap you again, Milmon? No? Good. He can beat the train, no problem. Making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Yep, we certainly have. I'm talking to the deputy, and then not Milmon. Waste of time. I got the Milmon, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down, Sheriff. <laughs> Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Too <laughs> damn noisy for folks good. Nice. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. Huh. I've collected. I've collected more than that bounty on <laughs> on those paper, on the money clips and <clears throat> what we gathered there at the camp, so I'm happy. Well over a hundred. Very happy. Hey, Booch. Wait, what the? So because you're you're hungry because you got your leg blown off, <laughs> doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, <laughs> ah yes, the old the old leg got blown off excuse. Ah yeah, we've heard that. I've heard that before. <laughs> Been a minute. Got anything good for me by any chance? Oh, I don't know. What do you have for me? Let's have a look. No questions asked. I don't seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. Oh, got these. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Ah, we've just gone scrumping for these sorts of things and, you know, found some sure, decent sure. stuff. I'll take another. Ain't this special, huh? <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Not bad, this. God, ticked over the 4,000. Nice. Well. Alright, fine. Give it here. I heard that down at the well. Oh, if you so insist. Don't need any more moonshine since that guy's clearly... I, I wonder where I need to keep some, but it wasn't our supply. It turned out that we need to go and collect some supply for somewhere else. But no questions asked. Fine, I could take more. I'm sure you will. Oh. Whoa, got a bunch of stuff here. Hell, you really want to get rid of this? Yeah, I don't need it anymore. Not bad, this. <laughs> I'll keep the Gator eggs for now. Almost a Gatorade. Thanks, <laughs> Mister. What? Ah. Uh. I was actually halfway through saying the word I was about to say gator and I'm like, nah, gator eggs? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, dear me. 
Right, let's just have a quick look. Uh, might see... Oh, whoa! Okay, a couple of those, but we'll wait. We're going to do the Mary Beth before we get completely off track. I just want to see if there's any... Because sometimes they actually have <clears throat> no wanted posts, at least not now on Valentine. Okay, probably cleared that out for the mint. For the... Ooh. Oh, no wanted posters for now. That's kind of good. Don't have to arrest anyone. Good. Or kill anyone. That's always a good sign. Uh, constably, no, no, okay, no, I'm just double checking everywhere, seeing, all right, okay, let's, <clears throat> right, have a chat to Mary Beth and see what's going on. Ah, back at camp in record time. Although I don't, we weren't very far away to begin with, so I suppose that kind of makes sense in itself. Oh, we need to uh, eat something. We're just going below the threshold. That's not what I meant to do. Three primes. Suck on a fish. Have some pork. Something of each. <clears throat> so to keep you waiting, Mary Beth. What's up? Oh, I need to be on the other side. Okay, fair enough. Do we? Uh. Oh. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <laughs> if you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> we did. Yep. And? <laughs> you got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. <laughs> in these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. What? Morgan, we have a problem. A uh, real problem. It's another one? What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Agreed. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. <clears throat> yep, we're gonna. Go ahead. I'll tell you on the way. So you use Miss. Going. You use Miss Grimshaw's temper and our gunslinging skills. Oh, Hold this ought to be. Head for roads. This ought to be interesting. She's in roads? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. 
Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but okay. clearly they don't see it that way. Yeah, I'm sure. Tilly. Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell right after that. <laughs> hey, hold on. Oh, I think we always drifted there. Uh, you and me both, I think. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the I place up Actually, ahead. that's a fair the point. I actually... I haven't seen whoa. Kieran around. That's interesting. It's, wait, do we need to... Oh, what need to move further. Kind sir, we're lost and in... Need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said. Oh, right in the jugular. <laughs> okay. But, can we please pick this up? Double. All right. Well, what the hell? What the hell? Are you going in there or not? What the hell? What the hell? Can we not take st oh we can take good I was gonna say uh, why the hell can we not take stuff if it's there? Yes, yeah, sorry Tilly, I'll be right there, just <clears throat> Can salmon? Sure. See if there's anything in here. Can absolutely. Got a health cure. <sighs> du, 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 du. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? I'm just going to search everywhere. I know, while well, someone's tied up, I know not the, not the best way to do things, but anyway. <laughs> Dream, there's anything else even here. Uh, can we not... Oh, all right. It's okay, Want to... Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm -hmm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun! Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! Oh, we're going hunting! No problem. You better have good shooting, Miss Grimshaw. Not that, you stupid... Oh, God's sake, get you! Get away. 
Arthur, get your weapon out, for God's sake, you idiot. Oh, there they are, by the shoreline. Hang on, hang on. You got it. Yep. Alright. I'm on the other one, don't worry about it. Let's finish these scum. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Come on, get him, Arthur. Yeah, well, I've got to catch Don't up to him first. I want Tilly to have the last yeah, one. Yeah, 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 I know. Thank you, Grimshaw. I know that. I've got to get close enough to him. You're making a big mistake. No, you're the one making the mistake. I need to get an eye side of him. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Oh, we will, don't you worry. Oh shit! Quick, get after him! Tilly can speak to him if he's dead, Arthur! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll kill you! <clears throat> well, Gotta second time lucky. Make these <laughs> nice and tight. Alright, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With cool. pleasure. I'll take his horse. Wow. Not the the horse, I mean store him. Oh well, it's basically not our horse, so gotta gonna be right up to him, don't we? Ah should we give you a good slap? What you're getting into. Do you? Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Exactly. Is that foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. <laughs> Funny bastard. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh. Good. This rope is cutting into Good. Me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Damn coward. Oh. What the hell? Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? Shut the hell up. All right, all right. Damn it. Hmm. I think he finally got some of the message. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Let's go. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. I'm sure you Go would. Ah. Uh, Finish the bastard off. Nah, we need to send a message. We need to spend a. We need to send a message. Let's get you home. Yeah. <laughs> Was there anything inside that house we could get? Inside that room, I mean? We never really got to search it. Oh, jewelry! <clears throat> <coughs> Is 
Hell yes. Coin purse? Oh, hell yes. Wow. Huh. Glad we came back. Ooh, hair tonic. I know we've got at least one, if not two of those. Uh, if I can find where the hell I've put the damn stuff. <clears throat> Help hair grow faster. Why the hell not? Potent snake oil. Nah, we're all good. Oh. <clears throat> nice. Gun oil. Ooh. Yeah. Probably will need to clean one of these two guns. That's not as bad as I thought. What about the show field? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> it's a little, but why the hell not? Ooh, got a chest as well. I didn't realize that was a chest, that was like a seat. Ooh, shotgun shells. Hell yes. Not too many, but it's enough. Very, very productive. Oh. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, we might have a pretty much a field day in here. Assuming there's anything in this room. <laughs> Biscuits. Round coffee, <clears throat> crackers, cool. right. nothing on the mantelpiece. Oh, well, that's all right. We've very, very productive visit on all fronts, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, I reckon yep. I'm not gonna probably have enough time to do any main missions, so what we'll probably do, actually how far are we from near our roads aren't we? Okay, what we'll do is uh, assuming any of the missions available do have to be in the daytime. The professor's mission is available. <clears throat> okay, well we'll do the professor's mission. That's the electric chair, so get that one out the way, I suppose. <clears throat> Why the hell not? <clears throat> Let's do the eight hours till morning, get some sleep, eat something as well. Excuse me. Big game? Yeah, why the hell not? Keep our supplies up? Always a good idea.
How many do you have? Three or four? Maybe I need three. Oh, okay. Well, cook them all up. Excuse me. Let's, uh... This one? Five, even. Venison will cook up as well. They're having the first or two daily meals. <laughs> See in this. I think we've got so four or five <clears throat> pieces of fish we can cook. I'm not sure. I think this is probably the last one. <coughs> Heard the sound underneath and uh <coughs> talk to the professor. Yeah, I thought that might be the last one. Uh why can we not the hell? Can we not? That's rest that's weird. Usually fast travel. Do we have to be sitting down, do we? Wait, what? Uh, okay. Um. That's weird. I thought we could fast travel from camps. <laughs> that's really... That's weird. Where's that horse gone? Oh, maybe, oh, okay, maybe it's because we don't have a horse, okay, that would actually make a lot more sense. Hmm. I was like, why the hell can we fast travel, but of course, we can't fast because we don't have a bloody horse with us. <laughs> Duh. Okay, right. Right, 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 right. That, that's actually making a little more sense now. Ah, <laughs> uh, where the hell is this? Where the hell? Uh, where are we? <laughs> I've genuinely lost where we are. I thought we. Oh my God, we are. Um, Jesus. All right, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll save you a lot the bother. Um, I've, I'd rather take, I'll take care of the, I'm actually, I'm going to take a stagecoach for the first time, because I'm not going to run all the way back there, go and get the horse, go to saint -Denis, and I'll see you there, we're going to do the professor's mission, so, see you next time. God, why did that be so bloody far away? Ah! <laughs>